life safety code and one twenty number. Just as a nice even, even number. What did the community engineer say about the traffic? In the deal. Again, he had no other things other than the lot counts. Uh, once it hit that one twenty connecting, that was his comment. And then again, all lots from the interior roads to avoid more driveways on Belleville. But well, compared to not, not 120 connected, but 120 flatted? 120 flatted and reported. So they're ready to sell. Sell as lots. Sell as lots. Okay. Yes, not, yeah. not home, but this is lots. Okay. Any other questions for staff, General? Thank you, J.D. Then we will open the public hearing portion on this matter. Is there anyone here this evening that would like to speak in favor of this case? If so, please come forward. And sir, please state your name and address, please, for the record. Welcome to the gentleman. Uh, my name is Howard Dasher. I live at uh, 987 South Lakeshore Drive in Dallas. Um, Mr. Chairman and members of the commission, I appreciate the opportunity to speak to you today. Um, we're requesting uh, this rezoning um, as uh, Mr. Dillard did a very good job of explaining uh, this subdivision has been planned since uh, 2002, originally when we did the first uh, plat or conceptual design. Um, a little bit of history, in 2006 we sold 340 acres to a local development group and to develop growth point. Uh, they are now full of it, have four lots left. And uh, so we are just going to try to, you know, just want to continue the growth point development essentially. Um, it's going to have a very similar feel and look. The lot sizes are going to be somewhere between 13 to 14,000 square feet. Um, you know, we're planning on uh, walkways and uh, green spaces and, you know, golf parks and play areas. Um, we want to get a nice community feel and uh, keep the, uh, the feeling basically what it is right now in growth point, which we're really happy with. Guys, I'm um, and that's basically it. I'm happy to answer any questions that I can this time. Any questions for Mr. Dasher? I have one. Please, please. <clears throat> how long do you think it's going to take you to build out 138 lots? Just that, well, based on how it's been going thus far. I think you know you're probably looking at at least two phases. Um, so you're looking at probably four or five years. The uh, the other issue that I have, and I've spoken to uh, Mr. Dillard about this a little bit, that number seems a little bit arbitrary. It's just kind of kicked out of thin air. I am happy to commit to building the road. My only concern is, I don't know what that road's going to cost. I don't know what my development costs are yet. So it's kind of hard for me to say at 120 lots I can build it, because I'm not 100% sure it's a very expensive road that I'm putting in. And I have no lots on it. I'm not getting anything from it. I'm just building basically dead money road, uh, a thoroughfare that connects Valdale uh, to, uh, to 41. But my estimate, uh, Mr. Miller, will be roughly five years, four or five years. So I mean, you, make a, you make a really good point about uh, having the dead money out there. So it almost believe you had to put a road to the balance of the lots at the same time. Yes. I mean, I, I would ask actually to up that number some. Um, I was thinking maybe two thirds instead of forty percent, uh, just so we can have enough money in the bank to. Uh, I mean, hopefully if everything goes well. I, mean, I don't know what the economy's going to do, but um, so we'll have enough to, to put that road in. Um, I mean, I'd love to put it in right away. I think it's certainly a benefit um, to us. I think it would help move some lots, but um, just to have that access. And uh, you know, I understand Mr. Wills' concern about um, about Valdell. But it is in the plans to, to be widened, and our property will be involved in that widening as well. We've talked to the county already about needing a little bit extra, help some roadway, and we're happy to do that. Mr. Dash, would you mind if I ask staff a question real quick? Sure. I hate to interrupt you. No, no. Where did the 120 number come from, JD? Did I miss that? Life safety code. Okay. 120 lots. Again, we were originally at 50%, which is 
138, I believe, right. based on the proposal. Okay. And uh, staff is running it back down with 120, giving us a, a solid foundation of life safety code. So it is based on solid criteria. I mean, it's just yes. It's your version of what? It's our version. Okay. Of that right. I just wanted to understand. Thank you so much. And that doesn't take into account the number of homes that are already existing in the neighborhood. No, sir. There are currently two points in uh, in and out of Thatcher Road and along Simpson Road when the county paved it a couple of years ago. With that secondary point, which satisfies uh, requirements, uh, but again, we just like to have a third point of ingress and egress for life safety, and given the expansion of growth in this area. I apologize, Mr. Dasher. I just want to get clarification on that. Please go ahead if you have anything else. Well, I mean, that's that's basically, I mean, in a nutshell. I mean, uh, we we're just trying to continue the uh, plan subdivision. Thank you, sir. Any other questions for Mr. Dasher? Thank you, sir. Look, you're ready to speak as well. Just different like that. Back in the um, amazing entry project, 4560 Valmore Drive. Um, as already mentioned, Valmore has, has traffic problems with nobody. It's a busy road. Um, the road itself is a lot of traffic problems. There's a lot of issues where it ties into North Foster Road. Um, a lot of points of ingress and egress that are, are challenges. Um, one thing we haven't talked about, we are plugging like the connection points on the very bottom of the page here. I think we can better version map of it. We're going to try to put a walking trail. Um, basically, a, a walking trail, bike path, golf cart path. Um, on this, it's, it's going back towards the development. Sorry, taking uh, place further on uh, on Valdo Road, the apartment complex to try to connect these properties together um, to give walking other points of access. Um, try to make it a walkable um, development. Give people, you know, they, they can walk within the development. All the green space we got, but also some other points to go to. Hopefully, that eventually gets over to where they can move, maybe get some food and not have to go on Valdo Road, that kind of stuff. It would be a it would be a great point, and, uh, and and of course staff has already mentioned that other developers, and we're trying to figure out where that can be in those other developments. But we, we, we know about those the issue um, with with the planning um, as as doing it in multiple phases. By the time there's third sets of lots, will need to be um, planted to get over that, those numbers. We're thinking it's four to five years out, which is about when we should be getting into if it gets approved. You know, if all the votes go our way, um, we hope they do. Um, but but when when Valdez is being expanded. Is when we would kind of tip the threshold to be dumping that extra traffic on the on the Valdo Road four or five years out is not 29, 30 time frame. So you know by the time we get there, we're not we're not too far off. You know, it's not going to be, be a problem for long. Um, county water and sewer, um, of course, the NWI wetlands. We talked about that. Those wetlands are in the process of being delineated. We, they've been sent to the core. They've asked to come back and make some changes to it. But they, that'll greatly change some of these lot numbers. Um, we hope you know as, as every developer knows, every wetlands get smaller so we can put more lots in. Um, you know, the only thing is roll the dice, um, but, but we we believe it will it will definitely look different. Um, we just don't know what that'll be at this point. Um, but um, at the Howard's point, putting it two thirds of lots will almost develop, allow us to develop two major portions together, which will allow him to build that road. You know, through the portions he gets paid for the lots, and and we we'll just have to punch that one little section through um, over to Aldale. It goes more or less through the power easement and the commercial section, um, and you know Howard's. I was currently planning on developing this. If he wants to sell it down the road, we don't want to leave you know condition on the on the rezoning that makes it where spots can't come in and develop. You know, there's just a portion of that road we got you know build coming for that they're not going to pay for it. I want to monetize that again. Everybody agrees it needs to go through the county. The county you know knows it needs to be a thoroughfare road on good conditions on it. You know you can't put driveways on it. We know it's a thoroughfare road. We we want it to be there. Um, I, I, I had the pleasure of doing road point the first four phases of it. And designing all that, and we knew way back then in 2002, 2005, we needed a connection over to Bob Hill. This would hopefully get us there. Any other questions for the speaker? Thank you, sir. Thank you. We have a short amount of time. If there's anyone else who would like to speak in favor of this case, is there anyone here this evening who would like to speak against this case? Please come forward and state your name and address, please, sir. So I'm Brian Wells. I um, live at 5310 Lake Home Avenue. Um, currently the Crow Point HOA president. And basic concerns we have is not developing this land. It is the thoroughfare through. Um, currently in the neighborhood, it's almost a super highway. Dasher Grove is now. So if it's a straight shot and it's going to run right past our park and community um, where everybody goes and Families are there, kids are there, and man shot right by the park. Um, we cannot get clarification if it's going to be part of Grove Point or if it's going to be a separate neighborhood. 
if it's a separate neighborhood, then we're running into issues with homeowners organizations. Every homeowner in there paying their HOA fees to uphold our parks and our communities and the things that we built there. Um, just, we can't get answers. I'm going to talk to the gentleman after this and get more answers. But if it's not part of Grove Point, then that whole subdivision has access to all of our stuff, all of our community that we're paying for out of our pockets. We're already having issues with the um, neighborhoods built right there on Clockstone Registry trying to come in and use all of our facilities. So this just opens up a whole other neighborhood to use private facilities that we're, we're funding, we're maintaining, and we're supporting. Um, we're just asking if it is going to be part of Point, which I might find this out after this meeting, then don't let the road go straight through. Let it wind through here. Because right now we've got people doing 45 and 50 on Dasher Grove just to get from uh, basically the back side of what well, Register Road at. So we've already got three entrances made. There is one off Amelia. There's a new one that's just built off the back of the Hatfield. That part is being developed. And then the main one off 41. So this will be a fourth entrance, which is a straight shot from out of 41. We're just asking if it can be developed, rerouted, or not connect this part of Grove Point if it's not going to be part of Grove Point. Because then we're going to have to take measures and figure out a way to secure our facility to keep anybody from using it because it's not a public park. That's all I have. Any questions for Mr. Wells on his comments? I'd like to direct that question to Dave. Do you get a clarification of what this concerns about if there's going to be a part of? All of our understanding, and I believe Mr. Dash can answer that this is going to be growth point phases 8, 9, 10, if you will, whatever those numbers might be. So. More HOA members. I believe. If it is, can the road not be straight? Can it wind through this subdivision? Like right now on the map, it's going straight through. Can it dog lay out to the second part to keep people from flying through the neighborhood? We are having issues already. My house, County Sheriff Parker comes out, they try to police it, but they're long gone. Uh, speed bumps have been put in per the county that has let us what they say that we can use. They don't do anything. That are marked on the road. They don't even affect me. So we're just wondering if the road to be rerouted. If it's going through, it'd be part of the road. Tonight. Mr. Wells, I'll run the risk of saying that I'm not sure this commission can give you any relief on that, but I, I would suggest, and if I can get some support, take it up with the county and the developer and see where that takes you. I'm not right. sure we can give you any relief on that. Thank you for mentioning right. it. All right. Thank, you. <coughs> Thank you, sir. We have a small amount of time left. Is there anyone else here this evening that would like to speak against this case? Please come forward. My name is Lester Preston. I live in Grove Point, right off of our, right near that entrance, uh, Asher Road. And I would like to echo the concern that we have of the straight through shot from Bell Bell. You pointed out your concern on the traffic on Bell Bell, that traffic will be routed right across by our pool, our kids, there, there is a concern over that traffic, or the potential traffic. As Brandon has said, it may not be our part of our development, but there is access to our park and our pool and so forth that we are concerned with. Thank you. Thank you, sir. Anyone else that would like to speak against this case? Seeing no one, that will close the public hearing portion on this matter. Commissioners, any final comments? I, I want to make another comment about, <coughs> excuse me, Valdale Road. I think it's probably a good project. However, we've got, we're overwhelmed with traffic now on Valdale. Okay. It sounds like we're putting on a cart before a horse. I know it says we'll, we've got time left, but uh, we've speculated, I know I speculated on 41 North for years. When we approved, we approved, we approved, we approved. And now we're doing the same thing on Valdale. And I'm just concerned that with all that traffic, uh, I would hate to vote for something and somebody get killed on Valdale Road because of the traffic over there. Trying to pull out with so much traffic going on. So I, I, I just want to echo my concerns about that. Uh, I, I think we may be a little ahead of ourselves on the, on the development of the, without the infrastructure. 
Commissioners, any other comments on the case? Before I call for a motion. Uh, one question for clarification, J.D. Um, the intention <coughs> of having two-thirds of the lots approved for development so that would uh, help facilitate payment for the road. Uh, do you have any thoughts on that? Can we do that? Again, the 120 number was a nice round number that we could stand on based on life safety. If the commission recommends two-thirds, uh, again, based on the development cost of a road, that's certainly a consideration. Uh, that number was just TRC's recommendation. If the commissioners decide to vote at the 120 or the two-thirds, uh, the only hard thing there was putting two-thirds on a number that's ultimately moving. You know, with the weather people in the 80, you add more lots, and it's two-thirds of an unknown number. That was the only concern while we put one point as a hard pass number. But if you wanted to up that number, 200 lots. You put a hard number if the total number of available lots increases to, to some point. That, that's perfectly fine. That's at least a recommendation. Okay. All right. With that said, I will call for a motion on this matter. Anyone? Mr. Chairman? Uh, Mr. Rupp, I am really concerned, uh, even the county planner came up with the state engineer has a number on Valdell Road. And uh, I know uh, it's like a broken recording. I know that I keep saying that we just overwhelm about our uh, infrastructure, and now we just keep doing it, doing it, doing it. I personally feel like that this is something that we might need to look at down the road versus right now. Uh, because we're only creating more problems, even if it's two or three years down the road, we only create more problems. We don't know whether the, the road is going to be widened uh, in two or three years, or if it's like 41, it wound up being years before we got to that point. So at the present time, I make a motion that we recommend it on all. Okay, thank you. We have a motion to recommend denial by Commissioner Willis. Is there a second? We have a second by Commissioner Bosley. All those in favor? Can we have some discussion? On oh, yeah, I'm sorry, you're exactly right. Excuse me. So, so uh, I, think, I think Mr. Dasher and Mr. Englund made good points. I think the two gentlemen that stood up made good points. I mean, it, it, it's, it, it's, a, uh, it's a it's a tricky proposal. It is because you have to look at traffic on, on, on Valley Road, which we're really not going to be concerned with. If you look at the traffic going through, uh, an established neighborhood, which we, you know, that, that, that's uh, definitely a consideration. Um, but then I look at the fact that what we've heard earlier tonight, the development is needed. It is needed. I, I mean, it, it serves a purpose for, I mean, a housing in a really, really nice community going forward. And uh, so, again, I, I'm, I'm rambling here, and I apologize for that, but I just know it's needed, but yet everybody's concerns that have stood up tonight have been very appropriate, sir. Yeah, and I'm gonna, I'm gonna stop with that. Okay, thank you. So we still have a motion on the floor to recommend denial by Commissioner Willis with a second by Commissioner Bifwood. All those in favor of the motion to recommend denial, please raise your hand. All those opposed to the recommendation for denial. Well, you got the count. I think it was two in favor and the rest. No. Okay. So the motion to recommend denial has failed. Is there another motion on this matter? Mr. Chairman. Commissioner Wallace. Uh, regarding case REZ 2024-09, um, which we've already discussed a bit, so um, i just like to say I also understand what's being said here and those concerns, but our job really is to look at this from a land use perspective. And our job is to determine whether or not this request is an appropriate land use. We're not supposed to be developers or engineers. We're not supposed to be concerned with infrastructure. We're supposed to be concerned with land use. And this land use, of course, is consistent with what's been going on out there for some time. And it's a natural progression of what we've been seeing develop out there. It's a very popular area. And we've all already heard tonight about the need for housing. Uh, 
And there are ways to control traffic. There are traffic control devices that can be put into place to slow traffic, to stop traffic, to control when it goes and where it goes. <coughs> All those things can come into play if there's a safety issue, and that's for the county to determine. Whether they, whether, with all the density that's happening out there, whether or not we need to have some traffic controls. And uh, so based on what we're supposed to be looking at, I'd like to make a motion that this um, request has been found. Sorry about that. Uh, that this request has been found to be um, consistent by the TRC with some conditions. And so I'd like to make a motion that we recommend approval with those conditions. <coughs> I'll second the motion. Okay, we have a motion to recommend approval by Commissioner Wiles and a second by Commissioner Page. Are you keeping the oh, all the same? Yeah, I'm sorry. Oh, I, I would like to increase that uh, residential threshold to the two-thirds uh, number that was requested. I don't know, it looks to me like it might be somewhere around 180, 190, or maybe even 200 lots if we can go to 200. I would like to uh, make that amendment. Is that your, are, you, are you going to plug a number there, or are you asking JD? I, I, I'd like to go with 200 if, um, if, we, are, if we can do so. And I will remove my second on that change of that condition. Okay. So you're not in favor of raising the limit? No. You yes. still think you should punch through with one change? Okay. So the second by Commissioner Bailey has been withdrawn given the lateness of the condition change. So we have a motion to recommend approval by Commissioner Wiles with a change in condition two from 120 to 200. Is that what I understand, J.D.? That's all I have to report, sir. Is there a second in that regard? I no, second. Commissioner Miller, seconds. Before we go any further, I'm not weighing in on this case at all because I'm the chairman, and but I just want to clarify for the record. What Commissioner Wiles described as our primary concern on this panel was exactly correct. He is a very experienced commissioner. But as everyone who has a handbook who sits on this commission knows, we can also look at other criteria. Our primary criteria is, is the zone inappropriate? But we can also weigh in on other things if we feel so. Just want to say that for the record. So, okay, we have a motion of approval to recommend approval and a second. All those in favor? Can we have a discussion? I thought I just had one. Go ahead. Uh, no. It was withdrawn. But we used to have a paper up here, and it's, it, we're, we're driving right on the uh, on, on just the zone. But there used to be a, a sheet that we had here. It was detrimental to the adjoining landowners. It was going to cause them hardship. So my point is, in certain instances, we need to consider the adjoining landowners and uh, factor everything in. Thank you for that. I was trying to express that myself. But yeah. Okay. I know. Our sheet's not okay. here. Okay. Another comment. Give us five okay. reasons to confirm something. Raising the threshold to 200 will just delay that additional traffic onto Valdale even further down the road. And it doesn't sound like it's in his best interest to punch that road through any sooner than It, I feel like it's really going to push it out far enough to where the county can do something about that railroad. So you're advocating for changing the number to 200? Okay. All right. The motion, there's a motion and a second. All those in favor, raise your hand. Six, I think that's six, Mo. All opposed? Two. Thank you. 